fellas, this is a yellow fin tuna belly locked inside this little goodie that Mother Nature has given us are some unbelievable flavors. And I'm going to put together a traditional Italian panzanella salad made straight out of my garden and some grilled yellowfin belly. My name is Yanni, and if that sounds like an insane summertime dish, hang on, here we go. <laughs> And we need some red onion here. Holy moly, look at that. Oh my God. All right, now I need some red tomatoes. Oh, there's some, there's one right there. Okay. Now that's a yummy tomato. All right, so here's my wonderful piece of yellowfin belly. I'm leaving the skin on, but I did scale it and clean it so the skin is all prepped. And now it's time to take off this lining right here. So I've got a really thin, sharp boning knife that I got from Kuda, and it's gonna suit this purpose just perfect. I wanna be careful and not take too much off. This, is, this lining here is just too chewy, so. So just take your time and just take off as much as you need to and try and do a nice job. And if you don't, go back and do some more, just like me here. Just like me. Perfect, look at that. Oh, that's coming along great. Look at that, wow. Okay, wow. Perfect, perfect, and there we have it. Okay, here's how I'm gonna prep this. I'm gonna pre-cut to the size that I want all the way to the skin, so everything is gonna stay intact. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut bite-sized pieces that are gonna go into the salad, right? All right, so now that I've got it cut up, the first thing I want to do is get a little bit of oil on the skin. I'm not going to put any salt on the skin because that will extract water and then it'll make the skin steam while I'm cooking it on the grill and the skin will stick to the grill and it won't crisp up, it'll be rubbery. Only oil on the skin, okay? Put it in my bowl here. Now I'm going to add some olive oil on top. Make sure that it gets in between all those little cuts I made, right? Plenty of olive oil. Perfect, wow. Okay, a liberal amount of kosher salt. Help bring out the flavor, the natural flavor. And I'm gonna crack some black pepper. Perfect. Last but not least, we're gonna add some lemon or lime. I've got some lime here. Just a, a half a lime. A little bit of lemon, just for a little bit of flavor on the top. All right, gang, we are ready for the grill. And my grill is pretty clean. All I'm gonna do is wipe it down with a little bit of vegetable oil for a final cleaning. I'm gonna do the five second test. If I can keep my hand on the grill for over five seconds, then it's not hot enough. One, two, three, oh ho ho. That's hot, that's hot, it's, that's hot. All right, let's get the tuna on there. Skin first, perfect. All right, gang, it's been about three or four minutes and it's definitely time to flip it over. Let's see if the skin is stuck to our grill. Oh, it hasn't, oh, look at that. Perfect, wow. Here we go. Couple more minutes and we'll be done. All right, gang. It looks done. And there we go. 
and that's it. Let's go into the uh, kitchen and I'll show you what the next step is. While this is warm, while this is warm, the next step is I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on this and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. Let it stiffen up and cool off. Okay, off to the refrigerator. So what the heck is a panzanella Italian salad? I'll tell you what it is. It's a ripoff from the Greeks, that's what it is, but don't get me going on that. Anyway, so what the Italians have done is they have figured out what the Greeks knew, and that is that tomatoes and cucumbers and onions, olive oil, salt, pepper makes the most insane salad in the world. Especially when you've got nice dry bread that you can soak in the bottom of the salad bowl. And believe me, as a Greek kid, we would fight for that juice. It was just insane. But what the Italians have done is they've taken bread, they've taken day-old dry bread, and they cut it up in chunks, and they throw it in the salad, along with a little bit of red wine vinegar, and that's it. In other words, it's just tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, olive oil, little red wine vinegar, and some dried up bread. And on top of that, we're gonna put our fish. So let's get going. We're gonna start cutting up, God, some of these heirloom tomatoes I got from the garden, and some cucumbers, and of course, we're gonna garnish it with some basil. Oh, I can't wait. Let's get going. Let's get going. All right, let's cut up these tomatoes. God, I just love this time of year because of these heirloom tomatoes. I live for these things. Okay, and there's the last of my tomatoes. I'm gonna use my scooper upper, and of course, a nice clean bowl of love over here. And believe me, this will be panzanella love. Okay, so there's my tomatoes. Okay, here's a key critical step. Lots of salt. And what this is gonna do is make all the juice out of the tomatoes come out, and it's gonna mix with our olive oil and our red wine vinegar mixture. So just hold on, you'll see. So this is gonna sit for about five or 10 minutes and you'll see how much liquid actually comes out of here. Okay, it's time to clean up and get the cucumbers and the onions. In. Remember this red onion? This came right out of the garden. All right, that's the red onions. Now it's time for a little cracked black pepper. Cracked black pepper. Wow, take a look at that. Wow, okay, I'm gonna let this sit and let the juices from the tomatoes start to come out, keep coming out more and more, and now it's time to tackle the star of the show, or the co-star of the show. The star of the show is the elephant belly. This is the co-star, the bread. Let's, I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do with this bread. First of all, I'm gonna cut up some really thick, thick slices, okay? I'm gonna cut up two, and I'm gonna put them in the toaster, and that way, we can simulate day-old bread. Okay, let's go to the toaster. Perfect. Oh, we're done, look at that. Okay, now we've got day-old bread. And now, believe it or not, wait till you see what we're gonna do with this. All right, so I've cut up this quote-unquote day-old bread that we toasted into about one, si one inch cube pieces. I'm gonna put some oil in the frying pan and I'm gonna put some salt and pepper and a little bit of oregano in the oil and then I'm gonna throw, well just, just hold on, you'll see, just see what you'll see. About a tablespoon or two of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of salt, some cracked black pepper, and a pinch of oregano. Perfect. Oh, man, I can smell that already. Okay, it's time to put in the bread. Give this about a minute or two and let the bread start to brown, then we'll start flipping. Whoa, we lost one. Oh, man, I can already smell everything that's going on. It's just wild, especially that oregano. Okay, see that nice brown color that we're getting? That's exactly what we want. Then I'm gonna turn off the fire and just let it sit here and let this bread just continue to dry out. And we're ready for final assembly. My all-time favorite time, we are ready. All right, gang, so the tomato salad has been sitting untouched for about 10 minutes. And look at all the juice that's come out. That's what the salt did to the tomato juice. And remember, I'm gonna add my olive oil and my red wine vinegar to that. 
And uh, believe me, it's going to be an insane salad dressing. It's the key to this whole salad. Okay, next I'm going to add a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and now I'm going to add a quarter cup of uh, red wine vinegar. Perfect. And now I'm going to mix a whole bunch. I want to emulsify it. Voila, that's called emulsification. That means the vinegar and the oil have mixed. They're not going to separate. Perfect. This is going to get poured into the salad. All right, next step is we're going to take this bread from the frying pan and add it to the salad. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. And now we've got our red wine vinegar and our olive oil. Okay, I'm going to pour about half of this and see where we're at. Right. Now it's time to mix the salad up. Oh my god, oh my god. Can you, can you hear that? That is a herd of Italians running to my house. It's a stampede. Oh, wait till you see this. Come over here and take a look. Oh my god. Okay, all we have to do is add the fish and we're there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me go get the fish. Okay, so this fish just came right out of the refrigerator. It's stiffened up, right? But it's still got a nice coat of olive oil on it. And I'm just gonna follow the lines that I created earlier. Here we go with that. And here we go with this. Now this fish doesn't have to be raw, and I don't really want it to be raw, but it's barely cooked through. It's so nice and moist and soft. Oh my goodness. Okay, now it's time for the fish to get put into the bowl of love salad. All right, and now for the garnish, I'm gonna, for my garden, a little bit of basil that I'm just gonna cut up with my hand here. Oh my God, and that's it, oh my goodness. All right, gang, so here you've got it, the ultimate summertime salad with the ultimate cut from yellowfin tuna. It's belly, full of fat and juice and flavor. We grilled it. And then we've got it in this fresh panzanella salad with crusty bread, with heirloom tomatoes, with cucumbers and onions. And of course, this insane salad dressing with some red wine vinegar, the tomato juice, and that extra virgin olive oil. I'm so happy you guys spent some time with me today. If you have any questions about today's recipe, please ask them down below. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date with all these great recipes I'm coming up with. And it's time for me to go because I have to start eating. Oh my god.